Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekly reading with me Cindy. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon and Rising and Venus and it's for like the last week in July to beginning of August. Now it can also be for just whenever you get this video, whenever you came across it, whenever you clicked on it, maybe that's three weeks from when I'm recording this. If that's what happened then there's a message here for you I would think. Interesting. So this is the card that just came out for you. Um, I haven't even had a chance to kind of tell you what's going to happen here because this reading is a little bit different from how I've been doing the other readings for you and everyone else. So it's more of um, a spiritual reading. There's a lot more, um, well, yeah, there's a whole lot more oracle cards. There's just one tarot deck in this reading. And I started this last Wednesday. I just got this feeling that the cards that I was picking up just felt heavy, overused, and you know, there's only so many different ways. I feel like it's almost like if you have a very limited vocabulary, there's only so much you can say with that, right? But if you extend your vocabulary and you grow it, you can be more expressive. So I sort of felt like we needed that with spirit. Like spirit was kind of telling me that, you know, I, there's only so much I, we can say through these cards that you keep using and using and using. You need some different cards. We need some different cards. We have some different messages that we need to bring out. We need different cards. So I just went with whatever pile. I have quite a few. I don't even know how many I have anymore. Decks and whatever felt right to pick up. And I picked them up and the message has been great. So this first deck that we're using where you had the caretaker card come out, this is um, the Return of Spirit Oracle deck. Then we're going to um, the Shaman, Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. And then we are going to use the um, Tarot of Dreams deck. And lastly, and certainly not leastly, is the Fairies Oracle deck. And that's Fairies, F-A-E-R-I-E-S. That's how they spell it. I don't know why. I haven't looked into that. I don't know if that's like the old spelling for fairies. That's like the British spelling. Someone can surely tell me. I know I've got some UKers out there watching. And I'm surprised because in Canada we don't spell fairies like that. We spell it um, F-A-I-R-I-E-S. Fairies. Fairies, <laughs> yeah. Um, but usually like we follow the UK spelling. Like we put the U in color. But you Americans are confusing everybody, huh? <laughs> Changing the spelling of stuff. Look at like these hairs floating, just fucking me. <sighs> okay, let's <laughs> go. So I'm still shuffling this deck. I don't know why. There must be another message to come out. Yep, there is. Thank you. <laughs> this card came out in the pre-shuffle, vibrational. So it's important. It's come out again. Caretaker, vibrational, and prayers. Woo! Wow. Focus on it, baby. Look at the focus on that. And look at the... I almost feel like, yo, pray to us. Say something to us. Speak to us. This is like... Um, almost feels like you are... Do you realize that you are the center of attention for your spirit guides? For your own spirit guides. And boy, they are just like pinpointed on you waiting waiting for you to ask for anything they can't do anything until you give them permission or ask ask for help ask for guidance ask for a sign just tell them you want that um otherwise they sit they sit like so poised like come on Taurus tell me tell me tell me what do you want we want to help we know what the problem is but you, we can't do anything because this universe is all about free choice so you haven't given us permission to step in or help you or give you any indication or guidance or anything. So that's, that really, wow, they are like, the power of your prayer. And then it's almost like they will explode out and create some kind of energy force in the universe that will bring you the answer that you're looking for or the hope. Oh, your vibration. Bring that vibration up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they respond to your vibrations, right? But you have to give them permission to do that. You need to give them permission to respond to your vibrations. And caretaker. I'm getting sort of like the message that they're the caretaker of you, but you're also the caretaker of them. 
right? In a sense, you both look after each other or you as a group, your group looks after you, but you also look after them. Like this is um, a symbiotic relationship. Not parasitic is how I describe being a parent. <laughs> symbiotic. Maybe one point it'll become symbiotic as a parent. But I tell you, when I was pregnant, it was definitely parasitic. And when he was breastfeeding, it was definitely parasitic. And then it's still parasitic. Mommy, I want this. Mommy, I want this. Mommy, I want this. Anyways, okay, union and union. So this is, oh yeah, of course. Wow, your spirit guides are trying to get into union with y'all, but there's a block. You just haven't asked, you haven't opened it up, or you maybe you did in the past. Maybe you're wearing protective jewelry. I don't know, something like, something to sort of, um, to protect your own energy, but unaware somehow you have, see this is funny because I did a personal reading for someone and that happened. They weren't a Taurus. There's that hair that's bugging me. Um, and they had done something and really uh, a relative came through in the reading trying to contact them, trying to reach out because they were blocked. They couldn't communicate with them anymore. Because your guides are really important. That's where your intuition comes from. If you close them off, your intuition sort of fails in a sense. You have to open that up and give it permission. Give them permission to work with you, to communicate to you, to give you that inspiration, those ideas of thought, planning, strategy. You know, when you work beyond your analytical mind, that is your intuition, and that is getting messages from, from spirit, from your spirit guides. Okay, so now I'm shuffling the Shaman Oracle deck. Oh, nice. Oh, we have four, you know. Can we just get like one or two cards <laughs> doing this to me? They make it such a long process. You know, I need a raise, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, the rattle. Serpent and standstill. The seer. Hmm. The serpent. Medicine and wonder. Standstill. Yeah, see, I, have, I, need, I need a second here. These are deep cards, too, that come from the shaman deck. So when spirit spews out a bunch, it takes me a minute sometimes to really, four to six, five to six. Yeah, we have some, no, I'm gonna keep it in the order they came out. Okay, so what do we have here? We have this freaking hair is driving me crazy. I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, so we have the rattle. So this is sort of like the beginning of a spiritual journey, almost like that baby energy. Your vibration is changing. You're, oh yeah, you're coming up to something. So it's a new experience, a new level. So it's sort of like, oh, I just got this message. It's kind of like when you're going through school. You know, you start off in kindergarten and you're the junior kindergarten and the seniors are like bosses over you. And then they finally exit and go to the next grade. But then you become senior kindergarten. You're like the little boss over the juniors that come in. And then that changes. And then you go to grade one and like everybody is, at least where I go to, where I go to school here, where my son goes to school here. Then it's like from grade one to eight. Um, and I know some schools, it can be like from grade one to six, but anyways, anyways, so you know how you always start at the bottom and then you work your way up finally, but then when you get there, you have to go to another level and you start at the bottom again. <laughs> so then you go to high school and now you're grade nine and you're literally at the bottom again, work your way up. And then you go to college university and you are literally at the bottom again, work your way up. And then you go and get your first job and you are literally at the bottom again slowly work your way up <laughs> and then you know by the time i guess you get up there then you retire and then you kind of feel like you're at the bottom again because you're like oh, i just retired you're not part of the you know like it's up to, yeah like it's hard so you're kind of going through that you you're, you're getting the rattle you've graduated from some sort of level and i'm feeling like you really stuck in that level for a while though almost like <laughs> Maybe you, you didn't pass a couple of subjects, so they failed you and you weren't allowed to go to the next level. Like, feels like you were stuck for something. You've been stuck at a level. I'm just getting this message. You were stuck at a level, but almost because you weren't utilizing something that was there for you, like the spirit guide energy, the, this, you know, prayer. Like, you don't have to be religious to get the word prayer. It can just be speaking, just speaking with your mind in a meditative practice, opening yourself up to who supports you in a divine way. Like if you're nervous about opening up in some sense to spirit, 
always ask for divine, divine truth, divine love, and you will be steered, you know, and vibration, high vibrational energy, vibration that supports your greater good. So, okay, good. It's coming together, coming together. So this caretaker energy, we're still working on that because it's just, I'm just getting this symbiotic relationship between you and spirit with this. But so you are coming towards a new level of your own spiritual journey. And it is going to be like having, you know, instead of having the shaman's full staff, you used to have that at whatever level you were at, but you had to give that back. That belonged to that school. So now you're at the new, the new spirit school and you have the little rattle. So you <laughs> but and it's going to feel like as you enter that that others around you who, who have been in this energy or been doing this feel like they just know a little bit more they just seem to know how to s step left when they need to step left and like you know be, but don't worry i mean you you're working up it's just, it's just great that you're finally it feels like you're finally getting out of that stuck energy you're graduating you've graduated it's awesome now i want to pull out the card for serpent you had serpent I do get this as like medicinal energy and it's symbiotic again for me because we have the two um, snakes and are they joined? It does kind of, yeah, it looks like they're joined, almost like a Siamese twin, almost a little bit like a Gemini energy coming through with that too, in a sense, being the twins. Um, something symbiotic, some sort of relationship. Let's look into that because it feels like some, you know, maybe we'll get a me something about this caretaker. So 46, I have been doing this with the other signs because um, there has been like a powerful message that needed to come specifically through the book with the shaman cards lately. <sighs> oh, my goodness. You guys, Taurus, always with the sex. <laughs> the serpent is the life force of Mother Earth. The coils are around the kind of like, oh, yeah, wow, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. I feel like I need this read this whole page to you. This is like serious shit. Okay, let's just get into it then before you get bored and you're like, I'm going to the next video. The essence. The serpent. Okay, look at your serpent card while I read to you, my children. Because you're in the new grade level now. Okay. The essence. Hold that up there. The essence. The serpent is the life force of Mother Earth. The coiled serpent of the Kundalini brings passion, healing, and renewal. She offers us the fruit of the tree of knowledge of the Garden of Eden and reminds us to shed the past the way she sheds her tired old skin. Isn't that funny? Because you have. You've you've gone on to the new level. You've shed something. You've exited that level and on to a new level. Um, a serpent comes to offer you the forbidden fruit that will set your passion and creativity free. So now the invitation part of this card. The serpent power of the Kundalini is stirring within your chakras, gently asking you to embrace its mystery. Shed the old skin that you have been so attached to. Mm -hmm. You remember you had to give up the big shaman um, staff to go to the next level. So now you have the rattle, but that's okay. That's okay. And welcome the vulnerable pink underbelly that will bring you a fresh experience in your life. Your passion and sexuality are awakening. <laughs> and this can be scary. Trust the wisdom of serpent to transform your sensual energies into beautiful original manifestations. Taurus, it was a couple weeks ago you guys made me blush. What is going on with you? You beastly men and women. Beasts. Okay, so now the medicine part of this, because this is really what I get with this card too. Like I always think of medicine when I see this. And you can even just see like this snake coiling around this and making that medicinal symbol. Somebody told me in another reading what that was because it came up for someone else. And I forgot. I'm really bad at that. I got, my hard drive is full. Not very much stays in there anymore. Okay. The medicine. When you shed the past gracefully, life will not strip it away with great drama. Indeed, that is something you want to avoid. Do not use your energies to seduce others or allow yourself to be seduced, even by your own ideas. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Seriously. I was getting all seductive there. You're getting all this kundalini new energy. It's like serpent comes to offer you the forbidden fruit that will set your passion and creativity free. And then it said, where was that? 
Trust the wisdom of serpent to transform your sensual energies into beautiful original manifestation. Do not use your energies to seduce others or allow yourself to be seduced even by your own ideas. <laughs> That's a little bit Gemini-y energy. I say this, but actually I'm thinking this. <laughs> okay, okay, let the message come in. You know what? I think I'm thinking too much today. Let's just open up to the message on that and let's just see what we get. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Okay, so because you've entered a new school, don't go on to the paths that are already there. Th uh, a way of going on to paths that are already there is by allowing this new sensual part of you to be seduced or directing your inner, that sensual energy towards someone to seduce them. <laughs> this reading is going. <laughs> okay, this is supposed to be deep spiritual messages. Okay, okay, okay. I just don't know with you guys. So, okay, the message I'm getting, this is so difficult. The message that I'm getting, like, I think I'm blushing. Doris. <laughs> the message I'm getting is, um, it's not, I don't know who's coming into these videos. <laughs> You're bringing some naughty energy. It's very distracting. Okay, um, Okay, so you need to make your own path. Just allow the sensual energy within you, is what I'm trying to say. Just allow this sensual energy within you to just guide you, to move you, to just allow your presence to be. Like that alone will draw to you what needs to come to you. That alone will take you to where you need to go. You don't need to try to direct it anywhere. Ooh. Yeah, like, and this is almost a, a form. This is like Taurus's form of manifestation. I'm kind of learning here because this is different for me. This is harnessing that Kundalini energy, very sensual. It is very sexual. It's, um, it's very high vibrational. I mean, as long as it is being directed in the way that spirit is sort of trying to guide us, right? Because I'm learning through your reading too, like what they're trying to say. So in terms of how they're trying to guide you, like if you are trying to take this, this is almost like some energy you're being given to spice up the zodiac, to spice up the planet. And that is this deep sensual energy is very high vibrational, very high vibrational. It's at like create, creator level energy like this is the kind of energy that the creator would have used to create the universe right like um as i understand it for myself it, it was created by the vibration of sound Om. that was the first sound that was created and that was a vibration that went out there and it was the spark that started sort of life something in the universe so but this is that kind of energy this is such a high vibration but that vibration will lower as soon as you try to direct this new sensual aspect of yourself to something or someone. You almost just need to let it flow. This is this is a challenge. But, you know, I think this is a good challenge for you guys because you are really like that slow and steady sign. Like, this is not something we could tell Aries to do. Like, this is why I'm an Aries, so I'm trying to understand this to kind of do this is um very patient energy because you're just letting it flow you're letting it flow which is maintaining that high vibrational energy and by doing that you will only attract to yourself very high vibrational situations very high vibrational people very high vibrational relationships wow this is um a type of manifestation that I am not familiar with. This is incredible. This is pretty cool. Actually, Aries got, this is so funny. Aries got like a step-by-step -step on how to manifest yesterday their wildest dreams. So I did, I watched my own video because after, after I do these videos, I don't remember what's in them. I literally have to watch them because I feel like I am just a conduit. It's just coming out. And then I go on to the next thing and it's gone from my mind. So I did watch it and I wrote down and made notes on my own video. But it was funny because at one point it was like so step by step, but it's because, well, Aries is easily distracted. 
So it felt like spirit was coming in saying, okay, child, you need to, this is what you need to do. Cause Aries is the child of the Zodiac. Step one, two, three, step two. But this is like, this is a new level. This is like, okay, if Aries is the child of the Zodiac, well, that is true. They are the spark. So they send the spark out there. They plant the seed and then they run off and go somewhere else and forget about it. And Taurus is like, well, who the hell is gonna water that? Somebody's gotta weed it. So then Taurus goes out and waters it and weeds it and really looks after it so that it will start to grow, right? Whoa, that's that Kundalini. Like it's, this is a, this is, this is something manifestational here. I'm still looking at the caretaker. I'm, I'm trying not to get distracted because the care, still it's speaking to me, but this is almost like maybe it's releasing some sort of caretaker energy that is meant for those around you. This, this Kundalini energy. Do you feel something inside you that is very sensual, very passionate, very sexual? <laughs> um, but you're not to direct it to anyone. You're not to allow yourself to just be impulsively drawn to anyone or anything with it. You need to let it flow. And then you need to see what comes towards you and just feel the vibrational energy. And if it's a situation or if it's a person, does that vibrational energy match yours? Like feel it. Does it, does it, do the, does, does it, do they feel high vibrational? And then, and if you're still, you know, new on learning that, feeling that in people, I mean, I know not everyone is an empath and it's easy to feel, but you can get indications. When you talk to the person, do they actually listen to listen? Or do they listen just to, to, to respond? So their, their vibration is, you know, a little bit. Um, when they stand near you, do you feel comfortable? Do you feel really comfortable in their presence? If someone has offered you a position in a job or something, does it feel really comfortable to you? Or are you just taking it because it was offered? Like, that's sort of this level of manifestation power that's sort of being offered to you. This is really, wow, you know what? This is, um, what is that called, grad school? I'm really bad with that. I know I hang out at the school a lot with my son, but <laughs> that for me, <laughs> I got too much to do. It's like, this is beyond like university. Is that like grad school or something? I don't know, guys. It's almost like, oh, no, now I got it. Now I get it. Caretaker. Who are caretakers but doctors and nurses and all those people are like in the medical field? Of course. That's what this is like. This is beyond. So, yeah, it is. It's beyond university. It's now going to medical school. You have your little medical school rattle, of course, with the damn snake. Now I get it you okay i know i'm so but this is new for me this is a big thing is what you're trying to get me to tell them so this is wow don't be like oh now i'm going to this level i'm starting again or you're starting at a level that nobody else is really at wow yeah y'all starting at a level that really nobody else is at choose now that i now i see it the next card is the standstill In a sense, that's what you're being asked to do. And who else could do this? I really honestly don't think any other sign could do this in the Zodiac, to be given this sort of energy and to sit with it and not take action on it. We're really being asked to sit with this energy. I can't believe we're at 23 minutes. I still have so much more to do. I'm so sorry, it's taken me so long to get, like this is a really complicated bit of information coming through here. This is a very powerful energy that's coming through to you and it is catapulting you in a sense. It is catapulting you. And then as soon as, you, but putting you in the catapult and then sit there and wait. <laughs> sit there and wait, but why, right? Like, and I know in a sense it's why because it's, it's this vibrational energy and I feel like it's only just gonna get stronger and stronger as you sit there. This level of vibration is just gonna get higher and higher. It's this Kundalini energy that is flowing through you Itchy nose. Someone was just telling me when I get an itchy nose, that means I'm on point. I'm getting it. Okay, good. Finally, I know. I'm slow. I'm a little slow this morning. Sorry, spirit. Um. So stand still with that. I Wow, good for you. Yeah, because, yeah, and you know what? I'm really, I'm, sometimes I'm hard on you guys. 
sometimes they always laugh off. Oh, Taurus, they always got to plan and sit and wait and plan and sit and wait and plan. But you know what? You guys are designed a certain way for a reason. And there is no one else in the Zodiac this spirit feels like is strong enough to be able to do this right now. I don't know why. I feel like it's obvious that you're raising your vibrational energy to a very high point by receiving this Kundalini energy, this very sensual, creative energy. Um, wow, it kind of makes you feel like there's a bigger plan going on, doesn't it? Like that you need to raise your vibrational energy like this and don't give it away. Don't give it away. Don't, unless you... You, you you can only allow this energy to be shared with someone else who is in the same vibrational energy right now. This is how sacred it is in a sense. It's sacred, sacred energy. The seer. So this tells me that there's something, there's there's something that's gonna happen here. There's something that's gonna happen here that's this is almost like where you're going to. This is where you're going to. It's really making sense now. When I was first had the cards. I got them like this. As I sort of demonstrated them to you, I had the rattle, then I had the serpent, the standstill. But then I looked at them, I went, oh, 43, no, 45 and 46. So I moved them and I, I sort of did that. And But then I was like, no, 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 no. You know what? It doesn't feel right. Whatever this message is, it literally feels like it needs to come in the order. We need to get the rattle first. You've graduated. You've entered medical school. You have the serpent. You're working on that. You've been giving this, given the books, right? Been, been given the books to study this and understand this type of, this new medicine. It's like a new medicine. Wow. A new medicine for planet Earth, for the people at Perf. Earth, planet Earth, and the people around you. <laughs> For planet Earth and the people around you. Just when it starts to get heavy, you gotta be fun, right? So, um, but this is that Kundalini energy just flowing through you and do not just give this up, okay? Do not, do not give this up unless you are entering um, the energy of someone who is just as high vibrational as yours and you're gonna know it. There'll be no question about it and um, as well as situations, circumstances, opportunities. It has to be as high vibrational as what is being given to you right now. You are going to, a lot of you need to just sit on this energy. This is sacred, sacred energy. And you're being asked to sit for a reason, almost so that the vibration of it can continue to get higher and higher and higher and higher. Oh, I'm also getting the message here, and this is another reason why you have this card. You're going to need to ask for help. You're going to need to ask for strength. It's like, this is the only sign in the Zodiac that has the strength to pull this off right now, okay? But, and it's still going to be hard, and that's, you've got to ask for strength. They're there for you to give you strength. Look at this support. Now, doesn't that also feel like all coming in and kind of supporting you? We can hold you together. We can do this together, is sort of what Spirit is saying. There's some sort of caretaker I don't think I'm going to get the full message on this. I feel like this is, yeah, we're just getting what we need to know at this point. This caretaker with this seer card. Some of you, you know, we do have the union card as well. So some of you, it may be something very, a deep, deep spiritual union with someone. And, um, you know, sometimes I get kind of funny with the twin flame and the, mostly the twin flame stuff. I really, I, lo I love soulmate energy, but twin flame can be very um, toxic. <laughs> can be very toxic. So I don't like people focusing on that too much. Um, but you know, divine feminine, divine masculine is really nice as well. Who is your divine counterpart in a sense? And, but that divine counterpart, you have to realize too, it's not, and you won't reach that level until you realize that your divine counterpart is you're not to meet them just for your own pleasure, just for your own happiness. That will come, absolutely. But the two of you are meant to come together because when you combine your vibrational energy, you're not, remember, you are not to share this with just anyone because this is so hot, so highly vibrational that when the two of you come together, it catapults it even more and it actually, you do good things for your community, for the world around you. Like that's what becomes of this sort of energy and that there's this seer so there's something else that's happening here um i'm going to try to get i'm going to go to the tarot now my gosh that really uh holy shoot the bottom of the deck 
we got to read it. This is going to be long. I'm so sorry, but this is really... It started off very esoteric. It was hard for me to completely get it, but now it's coming through. The tree of life, this is very karmic. This is cleansing karmic. This is um, cl clearing karma. This is, but it's also deep rooted in the history to me of the earth and the earth's energy. And it's been growing and it's sprouting and it needs almost like a little boost here. It's number 58. I just got the message for anyone who's 58 years old. This is a very strong message for you right now. Okay. I know, I'm just trying to find if there's anything specific instead of reading the whole thing for you. Mm. Okay, right at the bottom, the medicine, which is funny. The medicine section is what is really screaming out to me about what's going on here because with the serpent and the rattle again, medical school. Yep, it's the medicine. So this is the medicine. It's almost like a medicine that you are getting ready to give to the world. Oh, let's hold this card up again. So this is on the bottom. So this is underlying. So that when, you know, when I talk about underlying, I feel like this is really the energy that is spawning all these other energies to come forward. Like this is what underlying, this is like the bottom of the pyramid energy. What nutrients do you need to add to your soil to grow strong? The seed of the oak will not grow on barren ground or without the light of the sun. What dreams do you want to awaken to create a mindful destiny? Reflect on how you want to blossom, the kind of fruit you want to produce, and where you want to sow your, sow your new seeds. Be a conscious creator. And that is really about identifying your own vibrational energy and situations and people that come towards you and what their vibrational energy feels like. That's the conscious creator that you are being right now. Oh, wow, Lordy. I'm getting hungry. You know you've been in Taurus energy too long when now you're hungry, I need a snack. <laughs> I know you guys love to eat. I love to eat too. But like my husband is a Taurus. I swear every story he remembers Every time we've been anywhere, it's about the food. Like, how do you remember? Do you remember that time when we went to such and such a restaurant and you ordered this and I ordered that? I'm like, I don't even remember going to that restaurant. Like, how do you remember that? And I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember when we went there. Or I'll say, do you remember that time we went to, um, I don't know, our friend's place up in Horseshoe Valley or wherever? like uh, th three years ago. Oh yeah, I remember that. That's when so-and-so made this on the barbecue. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys are funny. You should all be like chefs or food critics. You would be like in your glory, I swear. You'd probably all be really big, but you'd be happy. Oh, yeah, it is something new here. Oh man, feel the desire in that car. <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of men coming to this. It's kind of phallic to me. It really is. And it's erupting. You got to not let it erupt in the wrong spot. That's all I'm getting. Like, it just sounds so crazy, but it's a big part of who we are. And wow, this is big. I want to see if I can specifically get something about the seer. Wow. There's some serious deep passion. But, ooh, you know, and I see this with the tree of life. And look at how this lava is coming up out of the earth. Like there's, it's like spawning some sort of energy, right? That's almost like these roots are down there. They're trying to bring them up. They're trying to suck up this energy, but perhaps it's not reachable. And by your vibrational level coming up, it's actually going to sort of make it bubble, bubble to the surface so that this tree of life energy can continue to flow. Maybe it's the vibrational energy of the planet. That's been changing a lot lately. Okay, the seer, is there anything that spirit can tell us about the seer? Oh, that's weird. It felt like a lot of cards, but it was only three. Victory. There's a victory coming for you. Absolutely. Wow. A victory. The king of swords. Very analytical. We're using your mind in a very clear way but you're going to be looking at everything differently. I just get the message like everything. The people that you know, the places where you live, the place where you live, where you work, 
how you see yourself, how, like everything, the universe, like this is a, going to be a really big, which is good, the seer, okay, it's coming in now, the seer. So you are going to see things as they truly are, not as, as you've been programmed to see things. Choose. And confident, really confident in who you are. This is really a strong, strong energy. And Victor, the Victor in it as well. Okay, let's go to the fairies. The fairies are all full of mischief. I think we need a little bit of mischief energy here because this is really big. Do I need to recap? Do you understand? <laughs> like that was a lot that came through. You're reaching a new level of vibrational energy, which is Kundalini energy, which is very sensual. It's creative energy. It's the creator energy to me. And to have that connection flow right through your body, right through your body, you, um, it's energy that, you know, you are being asked to hold on to, to really think about your choices in life. Um, I don't know. Maybe if you're a little bit promiscuous, that's, a, that's an important message because that actually who you connect with, um, you absorb energies and you exchange energies. You need to be very conscious of that is what spirit is telling you because it's important that your vibrational energy right now be almost pure in a sense. Like don't connect with people that are not at this vibrational level with you and don't lower yourself. You're be being given a very heavy responsibility um, because you need to, in a sense, you're gonna be asked to sit with this most of the time. You're not going to run into a lot of people with this energy, a lot of situations with this energy or opportunities in this energy. Like you need to sit with it and you need to sit still and you're going to need to ask for help because it's there, there's going to be times where you're like, oh, but I, I, I think I want to do this or I think I want to go with this person or but what is the vibrational energy? You're really being asked to do this because it feels like there's a turn. A very valuable opportunity coming towards Taurus and um, which is funny because it's sort of a similar message that Aries had yesterday but they're they're given a completely different way of manifesting their wildest dreams this feels like to me it's, it's leading you towards the manifestation of your wildest dreams but in the same process it's raising like the energy of, of the people around you in the world it's yeah okay shoes I really hope people stuck out with this one because I know it's long and it took me a while to really pull out this message is, uh, is deep. All right, fairies. How do you want to end this with, um, with Taurus? If I know a fairy, they would probably give us a card that's like really promiscuous and teasing and taunting and like, I'm going to try to, I'm going to, I'm just getting this message that, yeah, there's going to be um, points where you are tempted. The singer of courage. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, and I see that with this card too, because this is also the Leo card. So it is victory, but it's also about being courageous. Um, yeah, the singer of courage. Oh, it's number eight too. Oh, that just rings Kundalini for me. It's just that cycle of energy that just flows. It's, you know. There's no start. There's no end to it. It's just flowing. The itchy nose again. I'm also getting the message that this energy is around you to help give you courage through this. this is apparently not going to be easy. I don't imagine it is. It's been given to one of the most solid, I would say most solid, reliable, dedicated, um, immovable signs in the zodiac like if anyone can do it you really it's you guys wow yeah really it's it's it really is <laughs> the bottom of the fairy deck is exodus which is um ecstasy so the tease is going to be there the tease is going to be there but i think the thing is once you get once you you are able to bypass distractions bypass people, situations, things, circumstances that are not at the vibrational energy that you are at now. You've gone somewhere different. 
the things that served you before, they don't serve you anymore, and that's why. Because your energy level has just skyrocketed to something new, your vibration, this. When you do come into contact with people, situations, opportunities, relationships that are at the level that you're at, it's going to be beyond. Like, the, the level of ecstasy, well, is kundalini. It's going to be like your spirit is shooting out your body and coming back and going just like crazy. It's crazy. That was 40 minutes. I need a snack. <laughs> it's tiring. Whew. Taurus, I don't know what I'm going to do. I undo with you guys. Wow. That's like a really powerful responsibility that you've been given. Okay. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> I'm glad I'm an Aries right now because I don't think I could do that. That's a lot that you're taking on. That's a lot. That is a lot. God bless you. God speed with this assignment, my dears. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. And Maybe some of you will f have found your vibrational person, okay? Thanks, Taurus. Bye.